Good morning, friends. Recently, I encountered something really annoying with my phone service of my network connection cutting out. That's right, I go to make a phone call and I get this error message, no network connection, phone's only good for 911 emergency calls. That simply doesn't cut it when you're paying for a phone service. I want to give you some pro tips about this, so stay tuned. Along with the no network connection error message will invariably be a 1x symbol in the upper right of your phone where typically there might be 4G or 3G as far as your mob mobile data connection. Now typically, I mean, it should at least be 3G, that's what I get, but when you don't have network connection, it'll go down to 1x. Effectually, you have no mobile network data either, so you can't get on the internet and everything else. Now the first order of business to troubleshoot this, it usually happens when I'm in a building. It could be an office building, a government building, a hospital, a school, anywhere where there's high radio frequency traffic or high RF traffic. And that can block out your network connection. So the easy fix is once you leave the building to reboot, restart your phone, it'll reset that connection and oftentimes that does the trick. Also open up your settings and under mobile network under your settings friends make sure you have activated VOLTE. LTE stands for long-term evolution essentially 4G. I know we're moving upgrading to 5G networks I'm trying to avoid I'm avoiding that for the time being but make sure your VOLTE is selected and along with that make sure that LTE slash CD, CDMA is selected under your um, connection type. That could be global, and there's a few other parameters there you'll see here in the screenshot. And then restart your phone and see if that it fixes your mobile network problem. If not, and this is the last resort, and this, is, this happened to me last week after trying all those things, I was still losing network connection, unable to make phone calls, only able to make emergency calls, my mobile data connection was showing 1x repeatedly. It was such a pain, I kept having to restart my phone. I got through to track phones several times. They said, well, we had to reset your SIM because you changed to a new phone. If you've changed to a new phone, you might have to go through this process anyway because there's just some discrepancy with the SIM card or your phone number moving over to the new SIM card, for example. Finally, after like three or four repeated calls to track phone, I finally got set up with a manager who called me back and he was on live chat with my phone's carrier. The carrier service in my case is Verizon. The track phone rep was on a live chat with my carrier Verizon and on the Verizon end they reset my SIM card having to do with all the towers like at the foundation level of my carrier service. Most representatives cannot access your phone carrier uh, representative. It has to go to a manager. You've got to escalate the situation to a manager, friends, to get that service and have your SIM reset by the carrier. In my case, it was Verizon. Now, cross fingers crossed, it's been a couple weeks now, and my phone's connection has stayed current. Um, I did notice my phone going down to 1x um, when I was in a large building like I just mentioned previously recently actually I was in a pharmacy of a large building and immediately after leaving the building I just restarted my phone because I know how that's happened in the past so this can be a real pain in the butt if you have a track phone or a straight talk for example that's not your carrier because they use a third-party carrier like AT&T, Verizon, and they get discount deals off, you know, literally selling millions of phones and getting a discount deal with that carrier. You might have to go that far. I did. I did. So you might have to too. I hope this helps. I know this will help many of you because I was just very, very frustrated, literally spending hours on customer service to get this resolved. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, and as always, post your comments below, and stay connected.